one. Hello guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube the algorithms way in the normal way and it's just a three by three. And before I teach you guys, I'm gonna show you guys a really important sequence of four moves. And it goes like this. So it's right up, top left, and then right down, and then top right. And then, as a matter of fact, if you repeat that five more times, because in total six times, then it'll go back to what it originally started at. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it goes back to the solved cube. And now we're gonna practice it on our left hand. So up left, top right, right down, and then top left. And now we're gonna repeat that five more times. Okay, now let's start. So let's scramble it first and an easy way to scramble it is just to do like this. So right up, top left, and then left down. So let's repeat that. And then you're gonna switch sides. Okay. Now it's scrambled. Let's turn to the yellow side. So we're gonna get all the center pieces to guard the yellow center, the center pieces of the white. So now it's, so it looks like a daisy. So it has to have white there, white there, white there, and white there. So it looks like a daisy. And so the one center piece is already there. And we're gonna look at another center piece, which is this piece. Not that piece, because that is a corner piece. And that, and because that is a center piece, so that's good, we need it. And so, we're gonna convert that side to the top by doing this. So we're gonna turn it that way, and then we're gonna bring it up. And so now, there's another one surrounding the yellow dot. And now we're gonna convert that centerpiece into the top two. So we're gonna turn it like that and then move it to the empty slot, uh, to right underneath the empty stop slot. And then we're gonna bring the left up. And now we need to find the final centerpiece, which is here. And so we're gonna turn that up, turn the left and then bring the daisy back down, I mean half daisy, and then we're gonna move the center piece to underneath the slot, so, which is actually right here. And then, because that meant we did that wrong, so we need to turn that center piece to right underneath the slot, and then we need to bring it up. And then now we have the daisy. And so after the daisy, we're gonna look at the si the other colors of the center pieces, which this one is yellow, is red. So we're gonna find the red center, which is right there. And then we're gonna turn it 180 degrees. And then we're gonna find the next center piece. And then since that's blue, we're gonna turn it to blue. So there's orange and there's blue. And then turn it 180 degrees. And now there's green. So green and then 180 degrees. And then this one's at already at orange, so we can turn it 180 degrees. And now we have the white cross. Okay, after the white cross, we're gonna solve the white corners. So let's first find a corner. Let's say this one. So let's say this is the head of a human, and then this is the body. Or let's say cat, okay. so. The cat, the cat's body needs to find its center. So it goes there. And so the dot matches up with the body. And then it's gonna run away. And then that side's gonna come down to pick it up and then it goes up. 
and then basically just repeat that with every side. And if any happen to be at the top, like there, that might be a little trickier, but all you gotta do is, if it's on the left, then turn the cube 190 uh, degrees to the right, to the right, um, and then bring it down, and then bring that down, and then move it away, and then bring it back up. And then you're gonna repeat with this one too. And then we have this other cat. And so we're gonna find the green body, and then the white runs away, that peak of the green comes down, it goes back and it's matching. And now the final pieces are at the bottom. And now this might be a little tricky, but all you gotta do is find that that one's right underneath where it's supposed to be bring it up and then twist it this many times and now you need to bring it down and then move it away like before and now you can match these two back to normal and now we're gonna do the cat thing again so there's green and we're gonna match it up and then we're gonna run away and then it comes down and then matches up. And so the last piece, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put it right underneath where it's supposed to be. And then you're gonna bring it up, turn it 180 degrees. And now you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna bring it down, move it away, bring it back up. And then you're gonna move these two up. And then there's blue. So where the cat walks that way, the blue, and then it runs away. And then that piece goes down and then matches up. And now we have completely solved the white side. Now we're going to turn to the yellow side. And now we're going to solve the second layer. So the first layer has been solved, as you can see. Now we're going to solve the second layer, which is this. And then at the yellow, you're going to find like the center pieces and you're gonna find um, the piece in the center and you need to find one that doesn't have yellow. So this one includes yellow because yellow's on top and but green's there, but they're still yellow. So this one includes yellow, that one includes yellow, but that one doesn't because it's red and green, right? And so we're gonna turn the green to the green side, which is like that. And then you're gonna see the top piece which is red, right? And so red is at the left side and orange is on the right side, which means the red needs to go to the left because it belongs to the left colony. But instead of going left, it turns right because now we need to bring it away. And since it needed to go left, we're gonna do the left algorithm. So top and Okay, now we did the algorithm. Now we need to turn left and then do the algorithm but on the right side to bring the white side back to normal. Okay, and now we converted a few pieces into the slot. And now we need to find another focus piece. So that one, no, that one has yellow in it. And so red and blue, perfect. And so we're going to match up blue to the blue side. And then there's red on top, so it needs to go right. It needs to go left because orange is on the left side. So we're going to turn it left because we don't want it to go to its matching side. And then since it's supposed to go right, we're going to do the right side algorithm and then turn it right and then do the left side. Okay. And now let's see if we got any more new focus pieces like this one. And so match the orange side to its center. And then the blue, we're gonna, since it needs to turn right, we're gonna turn it left. And then we're gonna do the right algorithm and then turn right and then do the left algorithm to convert it back to normal. And as you can see, we have a little, um, one more focus piece. So we're gonna turn it to the green side. So there's orange and there's green. And now since, and now, 
we know that orange needs to go right, but we're going to turn it left since we want to bring it away. And then now we need to do the right side algorithm, move it right, then the left side. All right, and then now, as you can see, our second layer is all solved. Okay, now we need to solve the yellow cross. And how you do that is an algorithm. So the algorithm is like this. So let's move the yellow side so it's at the top and then start, start the algorithm. So the algorithm is from the front. You're gonna do count uh, clockwise. So it's F U R, you are F, you need to memorize that. And so we're going to do F, F means front, U means up, and then R means right, right? So the clockwise steps are F-U-R. The counterclockwise stepwise steps are U-R-F. So we're going to do it like this. So F, front, U, which means up right, count clockwise, R, which means right, so we're going to do that clockwise, and then we're going to do R, U, F, but these are counterclockwise work, um, moves, so U, top, so counterclock, R, right, counterclock, F, so counterclock, and then see the white side is back to normal, and then we still haven't solved the yellow cross. So we're going to see what it most looks like. So there's the boomerang. And the boomerang is these three. And it has to face the top left. So like this intersection. And it has to look like this shape. And it has to face this side. And then another possibility is for it all the yellow to form a line and then you got to make sure that line is facing this direction and then you're going to repeat the moves so let's do this because it's the boomerang so f u r okay and then u r f okay and then we solved the cross now we need to completely solve the yellow corners and maybe it's just a cross maybe it has some extra corners but mine has extra corners and we're gonna learn another algorithm so the algorithm is up right up uh, top left and then right bottom. And then now you're going to do clock, uh, clock, clock, flip, counter. So the thing to memorize is clock, clock, counter. And then clock, clock, flip, counter. And then as you can see, we did not solve the whites. Uh, yellow sign but we did see this this shape and then if it comes to this shape you need to make sure the one goes to the bottom and you're going to repeat so you're going to do clock clock counter and then clock clock twist counter so flip counter and then we have the clean cross which means since that yellow is on the left, you're going to repeat the steps right there. So we're going to do clock, clock, counter, and then clock, clock, flip, counter. Okay, right, and now we have the same thing, and we're just going to repeat that. Okay, so clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. And then now we have the yellow fish. So when it's the fish, you got to turn it so the fish's left side of the head is on the ground, is at the bottom. And so the fish has to be in this position, that position. And then we're going to repeat the steps. 
So it's clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. And we have the fish again. And so we're going to turn it to that direction again. And if you have this yellow right underneath where it's supposed to be, and that and we'd like to call that fish food, then you're very close to solving the yellow side. So we're going to repeat that again. So clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. And now we have solved the yellow side. And now we need to solve a step seven. So we're going to see our most solved side. And right now, it is these two. So we're going to move these two to the back, which you can't really, but whatever. And so now these are the most unsolved sides. So we're going to remember these algorithms. So this is the algorithm on the left, algorithm one. So it's counter, clock, counter, flip, clock, counter, counter, flip, flip. Remember that. Counter, clock, counter, flip, clock, counter, counter, flip, flip. Okay. And now we're going to do it. So we're gonna have our thumb on top of the dot, and then we're gonna start from right. So it's gonna go right, bottom, back to right, up, and then back to right, bottom. So it just goes like that, but it always has to start from right and then go next to bottom. So we're gonna do this. So counter, move that down, clock, Okay, and then counter, flip, clock, counter, counter, flip, and flip. And now we have turned the white side back to normal, and then let's see what we have done. So that's a solved side because these are both red, so we're gonna turn that to the red side. So there's blue and there's red. And now that's our most soft side. So we're gonna turn it to the back and then we're gonna repeat those moves. So thumb is in the middle dot and then say counter, clock, counter, flip, clock, counter, counter, flip. Flip. Okay, and now let's see what we've, we've done. So this is a completely soft because it's blue on all sides. So we're going to turn that to the blue side. And now that is our most solved side. And if all of these are all solved like that, only one in the middle that doesn't belong, then you're ready for step eight, which is this on the right, algorithm two. So it's flip, clock one, clock two, clock three, counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock, counter. Now memorize that in your brain. You can pause the video to memorize and then continue. Okay, so now we're gonna continue. Let's, so you're only, you're gonna have the yellow side on top and then you're gonna solve from the in front. So we're gonna, you're, you're only gonna use these two sides. So let's begin. Flip, clock one, clock two, since you're only doing right and top, clock three, counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, and then clock, counter. And now let's see what we've done. Now all of the sets are like that, so we're there's no most cell size. So now we're just gonna do it like this and then repeat. So flip, clock one, clock two, clock three, counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock, counter. And now this is our most cell size. So we're gonna have it at the back and then let's repeat, flip, Clock one, clock two, clock three, counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock and counter. And now 
we didn't do anything, so let's just repeat one more time. Flip, clock one, clock two, clock three, counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock, counter, and now you have solved the cube. And so if you're able to do, go to this step and finish solving the cube in below 10 minutes, then you are all done solving the cube. Congratulations and please subscribe and like.